gentleman by the name of Ram Hubin uh, was thought to be in a coma for 23 years. Uh, doctors said that he was in a vegetative state. However, uh, brain scans, recent brain scans, have indicated that he wasn't in a coma at all. His entire body was paralyzed. He was unable to speak. However, his brain was still able to reason and think like a normal person. Uh, this is one of the most amazing stories of today, n no doubt about it. I mean, it turns out the whole time he heard everybody. His eyesight wasn't that great, so he would see people, mm -hmm. but, you know, not as well as, of course, he'd like to and stuff. But he's having an internal dialogue, and he's thinking, how do I communicate? But he's totally paralyzed. Mm -hmm. He finds out his dad had died, and he's obviously overcome with grief, but he can't cry. He can't. And meanwhile, everybody assumes that he's in a coma, and he's totally goner. Right. You know? And first of all, he must have heard some amazing things. Because you know people confess to people in a coma. I've seen it on TV. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway. Uh, and he said that in the beginning he was really angry. Right. I have his exact quote. Yes. Now let me tell you how he's able to communicate now. Mm -hmm. um, doctors actually have uh, this device on his wheelchair and he uses his finger. Apparently he can move his finger to type in what he's thinking. Mm -hmm. So this is something that he wrote. Powerlessness. Utter powerlessness. At first I was angry, then I learned to just live with it. Uh, but his mom, uh, uh, because he's not communicating, he's even writing a book now. Mm -hmm. um, his mom says, look, uh, he, he's got some humor, but it's a lot of black humor, uh, and he's kind of angry. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, and he, it, it's tough for him to get over it, you know, even after all these years. And I don't blame him, man. That's the most normal thing in the world. I yeah. mean, can you imagine not being able to express yourself for 23 years and people are treating you as if you're in a vegetative state? Mm -hmm. That's so frustrating. And, you know, just to give people background on how this happened, it was what, why are you laughing? I'm sorry. I said black humor earlier. I want you to be clear. It's dark humor. Okay, it's not like he's like, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, no, no, no. So then a black guy walks in a bar. No, I'm sorry. That's not the kind of jokes he's making. Okay, sorry. Okay, uh, when he was 20 years old, he got into a car accident, and that's mm -hmm. how he became paralyzed. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, uh, it, but it's great that he's uh, that they figured it out at least. And look, it, for those of you who are now thinking like, aha, you see that Terry Schiavo? You didn't know. You can never know, et cetera, et cetera. No, no. Brain scans on Terry Schiavo showed that her brain was about. I think it was about a quarter or a third of the size of the average brain. It was gone, mm -hmm. right? And she was in an actual vegetative state. You can know. In this case, they've made, of course, a terrible error that apparently they've made far too much in the past. Mm -hmm. But there are some new technology. But even back then, they didn't think his brain was all mush. They knew that his brain was working. They just didn't know which parts of the brain were working. Mm -hmm. So there, I don't think there was really any... I might be assuming a little too much here because her, his mom fought for him all the way, and you got to give her a, a tremendous amount of credit. But I don't think that there was thinking of really pulling the plug because his brain was not, in, you know, in the sh case, was not in, in the state that Shibos was, for example. Mm -hmm. Now, we found out about Shibos' brain uh, after she passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, we found out more information about it. But look, don't get me wrong, it gives you pause. If somebody says, hey, look, your family member is in a coma. Mm -hmm. and or in, they're in a vegetative state and they're not coming out, let's pull the plug. I'd be like, wait a minute, let's go back to Ron Hubin. Mm -hmm. Let's do those same tests. Let's cross our T's and dot our I's here. And meanwhile, I'm not going to confess anything by his bedside. Right. <laughs> Just in case, okay. Uh, but I look, for a guy that, you know, went through all that for the, all those years, it's great to have him back with us, mm -hmm. you know. I, I Maybe I'm corny, but... I feel like he's kind of rejoined humanity, and I feel grateful. Yeah, definitely.